I realised when I made my last vlog about taking risks and don't just set him for the status quo that maybe it could have rubbed people up the wrong way who were stuck back in their native country with the feeling that they can just get by make two ends meet and the, what I advocate taking a risk and coming to Thailand is just crazy and a step too far and not within their parameters which by the way I, I disagree and I think there's always a way especially when you take into account you've got one life why just sit and accept normality because you're worried or you think there are financial uh, concerns that will put too much burden on your family? So I wanted to start by saying I don't mean to rub it in. I just want to share my journey. And along the 16 or 17 years that I've been in Thailand, it hasn't all been plain sailing. And there have been times when I've just been eating from a market in order to put some cash aside to take my next build. I came over here 17 years ago and started working in media for a magazine. And then after a period of time, moved on to a larger media company, which was the Patia People Media Group. And then me being me, because if you want to get by in Thailand, you've got to evolve, you've got to adapt. There are there's continuous um, transient movements here with different tourist segments, influxes and reductions in exchange rates that you can't count your chickens. And someone made a post on one of my earlier ones and said you're doing a lot more commercial work on down about Thailand you're selling out maybe you you're compensating for a, a gap deficit where something might have gone wrong and that's not true you have to adapt you have to evolve and I want to keep moving and what I think is acceptable for a standard of living in Thailand might be well above someone else's but put this into account it cost me over 13,000 pounds a year 600,000 baht just to send my kids to uh, international school and I'm not going to compromise that you then have insurance um, and then you have, we eat out every night, by the way it's, it's relatively cheap by western standards uh, and I've got a tech business which I put 40,000 baht into every month, that's 900 pounds, that's my punt, my punt on a big payday down the line and I'm loving it but it does put a, a financial burden on me. I've got my fingers in different pies so fundamentally I'm CEO for a property and hospitality group and that allows me to sit here and have my breakfast and drink a cappuccino in the most amazing view but I worked hard to get here <clears throat> there was no payday that got me here it was hard work uh, I've recently been able to pay for another property which which we could rent out and generate more rental uh, more incomes uh, and I have an, a media business deal and down about Thailand for me is something that I would love to move to a situation where I can be less reliant on other businesses and narrow it down to something that I really like. And down about time is my passion project, and yes, I do monetize it. I try and get the balance right. I hope that some of the paid content is still useful for you. Let me know if you think it's too far, but I think, generally speaking, it's, it's all good. Outside my nine till five, I work hard to try and do a vlog every single day for down about Thailand to give you real insight and openness. I'm completely transparent. I tell you how it is in my situation. What I think is acceptable, you don't need to live on as much money as I generate, but I want to build. I wouldn't even tell you where I want to get to in terms of earnings because I have goals, I'm motivated, just as I would be in, in the UK. So I'm going to leave it on this. I don't want to rub salt in the wounds. I want to hopefully inspire in terms of the life journey I've taken. It is possible. Work hard, educate yourself, be researched. Work out how you can achieve this for yourself and your family. Or, just accept the humdrum, routine life. It's your call. Okay, I'm gonna go and feed the fish in the pier up there, they got the bread. And then, okay, cupcake, two. bread, and then we're gonna go to the gym. And then it's a Saturday, so let's go off into Koh Chang and explore. Keep safe down about Thailand. Yeah.